Hey, this is Eric with Black Swan Odysseys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about a file transfer system that is a slick little device to be able to transfer your files off of your GoPro onto a hard drive without having to have a laptop with you. Stick around, I think you'll find this real useful. So one thing about the GoPro videos is when you're on long trips, what do you do with that, that footage? Do you just leave it on a card or do you take your laptop and transfer it off all the time? I used to take my laptop and then I found this ingenious system to, in order to transfer your GoPro footage onto uh, a hard drive without having to have a laptop. First of all, this is not my own uh, devising. I actually found this on a YouTube channel uh, uh, by the name of Paul Landau, Polar Explorer. You can uh, YouTube search him and find it and maybe his description might be a little bit better than mine. The reason why I came up with this video is we're two different arenas. Paul's uh, YouTube channel does more with outdoor hiking, camping, and actually even polar exploring, which I think is kind of interesting. But it's different from my arena, which is uh, moto camping and riding and so forth. The other thing I wanted to try it to see if it really worked, and I found it did. Uh, I found there's limitations behind it, but we'll discuss those in a second. I can transfer all my data from my smart card either out of this device or my other camera, and I can load it through my computer or through my phone as a file manager over here to this without having to take this and this. USB 6-in-1 hub. This USB port is for power. The iPhone itself does not have enough power to power the, the hub, and that's why you have to have that external power source. I used a battery, but you could just, uh, just as easy, plug it into a wall charger and do the same thing. But since I'm camping, that's something I may, may or may not have access to readily. You get an HDMI and a USB. This is USB-C 3. Card reader, very important two sizes, another USB port, a USB-C port different from this one. This one is your power port. You, you only plug in to add power to the port here. USB Type-C cable. You get two of these and they're both the same thing. You've got uh, a uh, USB-C on this side and uh, to a USB this is the connector for your iPhone very important to have and then of course here's the SanDisk um, SSI Drive. In this case, it's this is the anchor power source. Your hub power source. Your saving media. In this case, it's a solid state hard drive. Your file manager, which is your cell phone, and this is your connection port from here. Take your media card, put it in here. Media transfers through here. File managers manages this and sends it over to here. This provides the power and these are your connection pieces. So I did uh, two tests uh, downloading to see how long it would take to transfer um, media from the SD card to the solid state hard drive. And what I did is I set up my two Hero 7 black uh, GoPros. 
One was set up at 4K, 30 frames per second, and the other camera was set up at uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second. So that was an hour's worth of video on both of them. But in 4K, it took uh, 36 minutes, and not that much quicker for 1080p, which took 27 minutes. This is not a perfect solution for file transfers, but for portable on the go, I felt for me, it worked really well. Um, it, what it did is it got the form factor way down compared to a eight pound $2,000 computer versus $265 worth of components. The pros overall is uh, compact and lighter weight. It was also fairly easy to set up and to the cons, well, the biggest con is probably the amount of time it takes to uh, transfer files. Uh, it takes a long time. But in my case, uh, I'm okay with that because I'm using this while I'm camping and I see it at the end of the day, sitting around the campfire, having a glass of whiskey and discussing the day's ride. And while that's happening, it's sitting over to my side, just transferring files. So even if it takes a couple hours, I'm good with that. It's not that big of a deal. Now, if you're an overlander, you probably won't want to do this because you're taking your laptop with you to um, edit your video. So it's probably not a process that you'd use. This is more for the week-long ride where you're just storing your media. You want to get it off your SD cards for safety and so you have more room for other videos. And then you're going to do your edits when you get home. I'm curious if any of you out there use a similar style of uh, file transfer while you're on the road. Or do you take your laptop with you? Or do you do what a lot of people do, just have one big SD card per camera and just keep storing it all on that one camera? Put something down in the comment sections and let me know what you do. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also while you're there, uh, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next ride.